Hey everyone! In this video I want to talk a little bit about cutting and self-injury because I was a cutter when I was a teenager and um, from the time I was 15 till about 19 I cut and it was just the way that I used to cope at the time because I didn't really know what else to do. And I wasn't really um, close to my parents in the sense of like sharing emotional things with them. So, you know, they didn't know about any of this stuff that was going on with me because I didn't tell them about it. Like as far as any time I was angry or depressed or upset or whatever, I just kind of kept it to myself. And I did have friends that I would share those kinds of things with. But after I told them that I started cutting, a couple of my friends also started cutting, um, which really upset me because I felt like I'm turning to you for support and you go and do the same thing as me. And I really think that they did it a lot for the attention because they would kind of brag about it and show everyone their cuts and, and flaunt it about a lot. And to me, it was like a shameful secret that I had. Uh, it certainly was not anything that I flaunted or told other people about. Um, and when I cut, I would cut in places that were not visible to other people so that it wouldn't be obvious that I was cutting. So, you know, that wasn't really helpful to me either when I turned to my friends for their support. And so anyways, I think the first time that I cut myself, I was feeling suicidal and I found a razor and I started cutting myself, I think just because I wanted to see if I had the courage to actually do it. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I didn't attempt suicide at that time, but after I cut myself, I felt this emotional release that I had never felt before. And so that is how I got started. Um, it became very addictive and it just became a habit so that any time I was angry or depressed or upset or anxious or any kinds of negative feelings, I would turn to my razor and I would cut and I would feel much better afterwards. You know, of course, it's it hurts to physically cut yourself or harm yourself in any way, but the emotional release I felt was really good and it was worth it to me. And so that is how I coped with my problems at the time. And when I was 17, I think, I either told my parents about my cutting or they found out about it somehow and they wanted me to see a counselor. And so that was my first experience with counseling. But she wasn't really that helpful because her only suggestion was get a rubber band and put it around your wrist and snap it when you feel like cutting yourself. And anyone who's ever cut will understand that you do not get that same emotional release from cutting yourself as you do from just snapping a rubber band. Like, that doesn't do anything. So, <clears throat> her suggestion wasn't really that helpful to me either. And I did not stop cutting at that time. Um, I was only in counseling for like six months and then I stopped going. And um, I think the biggest thing in my life that got me to stop cutting was a relationship that I had with a guy back then. Um, we met online and we lived in different states and so we would just communicate with like chatting and email and phone calls and things like that for a good couple of years. But we grew very close to each other and I felt that I could share those things with him and I remember when I first told him about my cutting he told me that he loved me and that he didn't want me to hurt myself. And that was so different from anything I had ever experienced because I had never felt that kind of love before. And up until that point, you know, my self-esteem was very low. Um, I felt that my life was worthless. I thought, you know, I was just a waste of space. Like, you know, I just did not feel good about myself at all. I was, I was suicidal a lot you know, because I thought nobody cares about me, no one's going to miss me when I'm gone. So when I got into this relationship with him, that all changed and I began to see that I was a worthwhile person, that there was a reason to keep living and, you know, I don't know where I would be if I hadn't had that relationship because it was such a good experience for me because 
you know, just the way that he treated me and the way that he was so supportive and understanding really changed the way that I looked at the world and at myself. So, um, you know, we did eventually get together in real life and we were together for many years, but um, eventually the distance wore us down and um, we went our separate ways. But again, that was just a really good experience in my life, <clears throat> being with him and you know, having that support that I needed and being able to feel good about myself again and knowing I did not need to hurt myself anymore. So now I do not cut anymore. I have not cut in probably 10 years. Um, I don't even have the desire to do it anymore. I never even think about it. If I ever need a release, I go and smoke a cigarette, which is not really healthy either but that's what I do now and I don't harm myself anymore and it's just kind of strange looking back on it now because it seems so far away but I know that it was such a big part of my life at one point in time <laughs>